Yeah. 
first and for blessing, you have poured over this church over the years. Now we put our trust in you as we leave our comfort zone to a new place of worship. Thank you, Father God, for leading us this far to the church that you have provided for us. Father, we pray that all the transitions will go smoothly and that we will be united building up your church at the new location. We pray for your continued grace for each one of us, and that we will find new opportunities to grow in faith and in numbers. Our Father, the COVID-19 is still around us. We pray for speedy prevention and treatment from the virus and for the protection for all of us. Father, we also pray for your healing hands for those who are sick to bring forth recovery from the illnesses. We also pray for those who are discouraged and lost that you will make them Lift them up in your loving hands. Our Father, as we quieten our minds, open our hearts to hear your message that you prepared through Pastor Joseph. Holy Spirit, Move us, inspire us to be the true witnesses of Jesus Christ. You have given us plenty. Let our lives be lived abundantly and gratefully. All this Welcome everybody uh, to this beautiful Sunday worship service to our Lord. Uh, we go to our Lord in Thanksgiving. Amen. This is Thanksgiving Sunday and uh, we worship with gratitude and reflection upon the goodness of God. I welcome you 
every one of you on YouTube, uh, and uh, blessings to you and your family. Uh, a couple of announcements this morning. As you already know, uh, churches closed for indoor worship, and we can only do live broadcast. Um, we, we want the outdoor parking lot uh, worship at this point, it's getting kind of too cold. Uh, and so, we will weather out, uh, wait out the uh, weather, the COVID weather, and uh, until the Santa Clara County gives us the okay, we will have uh, worship at home uh, where you are right now. Uh, and so, uh, just pray for our church uh, situation and also pray for the pandemic to subside and God's will to be done already. I want to make you aware that uh, we have the church meter Twenty to twenty-seven. 
Second characters is the Old Testament, and uh, please have your Bible open or your Bible apps open or tablets, whatever. Uh, have a Bible handy, and uh, I will read these verses, and we're gonna read a couple more verses that uh, I'm not going to read right now. So he's having a Bible close by. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20 to 27. Please read with your eyes and hearts. This is the word of God. And they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And when they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah and infant inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets, and you will succeed. And when he had taken counsel with the, with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him, in holy attire, as the, the matter of fact is, they came to the foot, footstep, the, the doorstep of Jehoshaphat and nation. We find in verse 2, it says, Somebody came to report to Joseph uh, he says, A great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea. And behold, they are in Engedi. Engedi was like Forty miles south of Jerusalem. That's really close, right? And these great armies were gathering to go against Joseph. And so you can imagine the terror that Joseph and the people might have experienced. Now, this year, I think we've been, we've experienced on the similar. Was it back in the February or March? We first had a whole the pandemic, and we had in April that there was this first super spreading in New York, way over there in the uh, East Coast. Um, and we also hear about, hear about, you know, the Southern California area, LA, where it's spreading, but it's like way far away. But these days, do we hear COVID news very close? Too close to home, in fact. You might know somebody that's been infected. You might know a family member of a person that you know that is infected. It seems so close, and it terrifies us. Although sometimes we 
with tougher hearts and we say it's gonna be okay. We, you know, pray, but like a roller coaster, roller coaster always goes down sometimes. We are, our hearts are disheartened, heartened and we are in despair and we're afraid. That, that's what happened to Joseph at verse 3. Then Joseph thought and was afraid and set his face to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Judah. We see instances, incidences in the Old Testament where the nation comes together to fast, to pray and seek the Lord's face. In other words, it's like a national emergency. Kind of like what we're in right now in Santa Clara. We're in the purple tier, right? Of the categories, among the categories, most restrictive. There's even a curfew, I believe, from like 10, 10 p.m. now. So, the, the, even the community is shut down, it's locked down, and they're afraid, and so was Joseph it was an emergency situation. And at this time, they gathered in the courtyard of the Temple of God that Solomon had built. And they said all things, to, they said all prayers to God, but the essence of the prayer was this. You can find it in verse 9 of the same chapter. He said, oh, Joseph had prayed this way. If disaster comes upon us, the sore judgment or pestilence or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, God, for your name is in this house, and cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and save. He's calling from Solomon's prayer when Solomon was dedicating the temple of God to God. And God answered the famous Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people humble themselves and pray and seek thy face, I will forgive. I will restore, heal, and restore their land. This was what Joseph was referring to God. You said, this when we pray to you toward this temple that you will hear. 